Your Excellency. May proceed and present. Proceed and present to the CS.
So, Your Excellency, sir, honored guests, you may kindly take your seats. The CS for Interior remains in position. Sir, by dint of the mandate of the Inspector General, the appointee will in this capacity, upon assuming office, become a member of the National Security Council, the guardian of our national security. Your Excellency, if it pleases you, sir, I most graciously invite you to take your place at the installation arena. Sir, with your indulgence and permission, on behalf of the National Security Council, I now call upon Mr. Douglas Kanja Kirosho for his installation into the rank of Inspector General of the National Police. Your Excellency, you will be assisted in the installation by the Cabinet Secretary for Interior and National Administration. And the installation order is in the following order. We start with shoulder badges. These badges denote authority and responsibility of the Inspector General. They signify the Inspector General's role as a leader within the police force, entrusted with the duty to maintain law and order, uphold public safety, and enforce the law without fear, favor, affection, or ill will. And what is being installed now is those badges. Remember, they signify the Inspector General's role as a leader within the police force, entrusted with the duty to maintain law and order, uphold public safety, and enforce the law without fear, favor, or ill affection. We'll now request the Inspector General to face this way, to turn and face this way. It's still in a position. Exactly. Thank you. Let's have now. You may face the band. Now, what is being installed is a ceremonial cape. It represents dignity of the rank and the solemnity of the Inspector General's office. It embodies the tradition of heritage and law enforcement, emphasizing the role of the police in protecting all its citizens. Next is the baton, which is commonly known as a swagger cane. It symbolizes leadership, authority, and the power to enforce the law and order. It represents the Inspector General's responsibility to maintain discipline within the force and ensure protection of its citizens. Next, he will be handed over. Next is the Constitution, which symbolizes the foundation of principles and values upon which law enforcement is based. It represents the Inspector General's commitment to uphold the rule of law, protecting constitutional rights and ensuring justice. Last, and by no means least, the flag of the National Police Service. This represents unity and allegiance of the nation, to the nation. It symbolizes the Inspector General's commitment to serving the country with integrity, professionalism, and dedication to the welfare of its citizens.
Excellency, you may retweet your signal.